Hey everyone, welcome to today's episode of Geography Stream. Today we will be learning about opportunities in the desert. However, if you haven't checked out my video, deserts, hot deserts, climate and soils, I'd recommend that you watch it first so that this lesson makes sense. Let's get going. So there are four opportunities in the desert. Number one, tourism. Number two, energy production. Number three, mineral extraction. And number four, farming. Today we're going to look at a case study, Jaisalmer, and that's in India in the Tar Desert. As you can see, it is an absolutely beautiful city. Over 600,000 people live here and it's known as the Golden City. Tourists are visiting because there is a large fort and people want to experience the history of the city. People often use Jaisalmer as a base to explore the nearby desert they might go by jeep, they might go by quad bike, and sometimes they even go by camel safari. So why is this an economic opportunity? When the tourists arrive, they will pay money for activities, they'll spend money on a hotel, they will eat out at local restaurants, they might go and buy souvenirs from local businesses. This gives an opportunity for people to have jobs. They can earn money, they will then pay tax, that tax can be invested into the city which will improve infrastructure such as roads, water networks and electricity networks. The second opportunity is energy production. You can see just how many solar panels there are in this section of the Tar Desert. There are over 30 solar panel dealers in the city, but Jessamar is also close to one of the biggest wind turbine farms in India and there are actually 75 wind turbines at the farm. So this provides a social and an economic opportunity. If we can generate renewable electricity, it means that local people will get a cheaper supply of electricity. So people will save money on their bills, they will then have more disposable income and this can lead to a better quality of life. But more importantly, there's an environmental opportunity. If we can generate renewable electricity, it means there'll be less fossil fuels burnt, there'll be less air pollution, people will have fewer respiratory, which just means breathing difficulties, and as a result, there will be less pressure on healthcare. The next opportunity is mineral extraction. In the desert, there is lots of limestone and that can be mined and then used for construction. In Rajasthan, which is also part of the Tar Desert, there are lots of gold deposits and scientists estimate that there's 350 million gold, copper, zinc and lead deposits in Jaipur. So this provides an economic and social opportunity. The minerals can be used as raw materials and they can get turned into new products. For example, the limestone can be used for building, gold could be turned into jewellery. This means people can sell the products, they can export them, they can make more money, they can then improve their own standard of living, so they might improve the quality of the housing by getting a better water supply, or improving the electricity supply, or fitting things like a better internet connection, and in turn, by improving their house, this will lead to better health. Equally, higher incomes mean that there's more tax, so the government will be wealthier and they can then invest in better quality education and healthcare, which improves the level of development. And here's just another example of the mining that is taking place in the Tar Desert. Finally, the last opportunity that we're going to look at is farming. And you can see on this photograph some really weird looking green circles. Now it's quite surprising that farming exists in the weather conditions because it is so hot and dry and it means that it can be quite difficult to farm, but it does still happen. Most of the farmers are subsistence farmers. Subsistence farming means that people grow their own crops to eat and they don't trade them. However, there is some commercial farming because there's been 3,500 square kilometres of land that has been irrigated. So pipes have been put in place to allow the water to be used to produce wheat, cotton and maize. 
And this provides a social opportunity for the subsistence farmers because they use the depressions between the sand dunes to act as drainage basins to collect the rainwater. This allows the grass to grow, which means people can allow animals like goats to graze, and this means that they've got access to milk and cheese, which means people can eat to survive. And obviously the commercial farmers will be able to earn more money. So that sums up the four opportunities in the desert. Please subscribe to Geography Stream. Alternatively, check out my next video, Deserts and Challenges in Hot Deserts. See you soon.